Hello everybody, my name is Ricky Nelson and this is The Vent. I don't know about you guys, but I worry about my status all the time. No, not my HIV status and no, not my COVID-19 status either. I worry about my financial status and my mental status more importantly. And the new world order that we live in today makes these things even more fragile. You all saw Alvin's video, right? He was once the talk of the town. Every musical artist and every aspiring artist was looking up to him at one point. And then this happened. He didn't do anything wrong. I do not know what he did after the TPF wave passed, but I'm sure he was doing what he could. He was making ends meet. He may not have been popping bottles at clubs or making it rain and shit, but he was living the best life that he could with the tools that he had. Then that happened. And personally, I could relate because I've lived through it. No, I don't mean that I've lived through a pandemic and my whole life fell apart because of it. No, I'm not that old. I mean, everything that you know and love suddenly fading away from existence. And this is what I want to talk about today. I did a video. Actually, I think I've done a bunch of videos where I'm talking about how COVID has affected me and a lot of other people out here. Maybe I should be a spokesperson for COVID. My fellow COVIDians, today we managed to infect approximately 500 Kenyans. I know, I know. And our mission to get to the state house is progressing on smoothly. Yes, we can. Anyway, our lives are not what they used to be and this sudden jolt of reality has even brought us closer to the brink of our sanity. What is hilarious is that we were more afraid of this thing when we had only seven cases in the country. And now that we are getting to just about 9,000, we are like, Wanjo Hibana, Fungua Inchi, come on buy and buy. Alvan's story is just one that made it to the limelight. There are a lot of other Kenyans who have in fact lost people to this disease. And to all of those, I sent out my heartfelt condolences. So you're on your tablet, on your smart TV, on your laptop, on your phone. And that is the second highest homes on the land. You're the mama who are you. Okay, on whatever you're watching this on. Wait, unless I'm wrong, that was an iPhone 11 Pro, right? This is give or take 140 to 150,000 Kenya shillings, right? Now, when you're watching this, I want you to take a second and think. What if all of this went away? What if your job, your house, your daddy's mansion, that one was all for everybody. If all of this went away, do you have a contingency plan? Or just like many Kenyans out here, are you f If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. You can do so by clicking on the little red button underneath this video. Make sure you click the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I upload a new video. My name is Ricky Nelson and this is The Vent. I did uh, this small show a couple of weeks ago. I called it One Man, One Live. And uh, it, it was fun. I, 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 had, I had a real blast doing it. Thank you for all you guys who joined me during that show. And I have been thinking of doing another one. And because of that, I posted something a couple of weeks ago on my stories. And I asked if I put together a show and or if I did something like that, would you guys come to check it out? And from the millions and millions of responses I got. Do I look sarcastic enough? Okay, not a lot of people responded. But uh, one friend of mine wrote something and he said, if you put it together, we will come. And he will never understand how much that motivated me, how much that kept me going. Just that single response. And yes, I am going to do it. And I am going to let you know. I will do the promos, I will do the posters and everything in due course. I do not have a date decided, but I am definitely putting it together. Okay, for real, I'm actually going now. My name is Ricky Nelson and this is The Vent.